Valentine's Day. Hey. Now I may have it all wrong. See, if you know what love means, well. Happy Valentine's Day by Outcast here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Yes, today is Valentine's Day. Chocolate, flowers, maybe even diamonds. How can gifts that bring so much happiness come from so much pain? Those lovely flowers you may get, they could have been genetically engineered, grown in Colombia on a giant pesticide-soaked factory farm run by the U.S.-owned Dole Foods. Or how about those chocolates? Well, over 40% of the world's cocoa comes from the Ivory Coast in West Africa, where child labor and child slavery is widespread. And the diamonds? Well, a girl's best friend? Well, they may have been used to finance some of the most brutal warfare of the last two decades. Valentine's Day, what's not to like? Well, our guest today will give you all the unlovely details. We'll start by looking at the flower industry. Why should U.S. consumers care where your flowers come from? Well, according to a new report, approximately 60% of all flowers sold in the United States come from Colombia. A third of Ecuador's yearly production is exported to the United States for Valentine's Day. Flower workers in these countries earn poverty-level wages, work long hours, suffer significant health problems due to pesticides. The report also finds over half of women workers in the flower industry in Colombia and Ecuador have been subjected to sexual harassment. Dole is the largest exporter of flowers in Latin America. Its largest flower plantation in Colombia is currently the site of a growing worker struggle. Over the weekend, Dole fired almost 200 flower workers from the plantation. Nora Firm is program director at the International Labor Rights Fund in Washington, co-author of the report, A Valentine's Day Report. She joins us from Washington. And with Nora is Beatriz Fuentes, president of the Sins Resplendor Union, which is located at Dole's largest flower plantation in Colombia. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Nora, I would like to begin with you. And also thank you very much for offering to translate for Beatriz. Um, lay out the report, your Valentine's Day report. Well, this report focuses on the, the key labor rights violations that occur at most Colombian and Ecuadorian flower plantations. It has a special focus on Colombia, but we also look closely at Ecuador. We look at w wages, um, occupational health and safety issues, sexual harassment and discrimination issues that face women workers. And we have four case studies that look at obstacles to organizing in the cut flower industry. The plantation that Betty works at is one of the key case studies and we also have two from, from Ecuador and one additional one from Colombia. And explain exactly what's happening in each of these places. Um, there are two uh, flower plantations at Ecuador that have tried to organize unions. When, union, when workers try to organize unions, they are generally subject to severe retaliation on the part of the companies. Um, there was one company called um, Rosas de Ecuador, where the workers went several months without being paid their salary. They went on strike. They had to be on strike for more than two years. Um, they weren't allowed to leave the plantation. If they had left the plantation, they would have been accused of abandoning the workplace and would not have been able to receive any of the back pay that they were owed. So they stayed in shifts on the plantation, growing lettuce and other vegetables to allow themselves to survive, and filing legal complaints with the Ministry of Labor. Finally, this past year, they received a resolution saying that they were in the right and the employer had to pay these wages. The employer had since disappeared, and so the workers were left with this land. Um, unfortunately, during all of this time, because the workers themselves don't have access to the exporters or the retailers, they weren't able to continue um, the plantation functioning and continue exporting. So the greenhouses have fallen down, the plants have all died, and the workers are left with a totally dysfunctional plantation, which doesn't really serve to um, compensate them for the thousands of dollars in back pay that they were owed. This is one example of how um, workers are unable to organize and all of the surrounding plantations tell their workers, this is an example of what will happen if you do try to organize. So they use this to create um, an environment of fear to prevent similar attempts to organize at other plantations. Um, Beatriz will be able to talk to you a little bit more about what happens at the Dole Plantation. Um, 
and we have well, a couple other case studies in there. Let's uh, turn to Beatriz Fuentes again, president of the union in Colombia, uh, has worked for years in the Colombian rose plantations in the U.S. to publicize the issues facing women workers uh, in Colombia's flower industry. Beatriz, describe where you work. Puedes describir el lugar donde trabajas? Pues es una zona verde grande, grande y son invernaderos, están totalmente forrados por plásticos y quedan alrededor de Bogotá, que es lo que conocemos como la sabana. This is the area that surrounds the city of Bogota in Colombia. It's a flat valley um, covered with greenhouses, plastic greenhouses where roses are grown. And how many people work there? How are the flowers grown? What happens to you? Y cómo se cómo hacen las flores y qué qué te pasa y qué pasa a los trabajadores? Bueno, en el sector somos 90.000 trabajadores de flores, de ellos el 65% son mujeres cabezas de hogar. There are 90,000 workers in the Colombian flower industry and 65% of them are women, most of them are single mothers. En mi empresa eran um, alrededor de 1.600 trabajadores, pero pues hoy en día quedamos alrededor de 150 por un, despe por un cierre que autorizó la doble el 12 de octubre del año pasado. At my particular plantation, there used to be 1,600 workers, but due to the closure of the factory or, and the plantation, which Dole authorized last October 12th, we're now only 150 workers. Y el cuido, la cuidada de las flores, pues es, es, es sencilla, es, se siembran, se cortan, es un proceso de cuidarlas y hacer unas, unos ejercicios o unas labores culturales y luego es clasificarlas, envolverlas y traerlas al mercado. Pero en, en ese desarrollo hay muchos inconvenientes. The process of growing a flower involves planting, the rose plant, weeding, making sure there are no illnesses, harvesting, classifying, and packing the flowers. But during this whole process, we encounter a lot of problems. What kinds of problems? ¿Qué tipo de problemas? Bueno, pues um, el sector empezó a sufrir uh, problemas de bajos salarios, enfermedades, uh, discriminación, el, el hecho de que llegaron muchas temporales y el derecho a no poderse sindicalizar. We have very low wages, we suffer occupational health illnesses, we are not allowed to organize unions, there is increasing use of subcontracting and short term um, contracts, and we are subject to serious cases of discrimination. What does it mean to unionize and how has the plant responded to the Centro Splendor Union, the one that you had? ¿Qué significa organizarse y cómo ha respondido la empresa a su intento de organizar un sindicato en su empresa? Nosotros organizamos un sindicato independiente en el año 2004, a lo cual la respuesta fueron agresiones permanentes y malos tratos, e incluso hasta los simples boletines y las simples informaciones de manifestar cómo se había creado eh, para la empresa significó guerra contra los trabajadores. We formed the union in November 2004, and there was constant aggression and constant retaliation against our union. We weren't even allowed to share um, information with the workers. For the company, when we um, gave out brochures about why we had formed the union and what it was all about, they saw that as declaring war. So what are you doing now? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora? Pues en este momento estamos tratando de que todos los trabajadores en Colombia que están siendo despedidos e indemnizados por la empresa eh, se, eh, sean legalmente despedidos, o sea, todo lo que todas las cosas que la ley dice que se les cumplan y estamos aquí abogando para que Dol no vaya a cerrar las otras empresas que ellos tienen en Colombia porque tenemos muchos indicios de que la próxima empresa que piensa cerrar es La Fragancia, donde también existe un sindicato independiente. We're trying to create pressure so that workers who are fired from the Dole plantation are adequately compensated and that Dole follows all of the legal processes in Colombia during this process. We're also trying to create pressure so that Dole does not close other plantations that it has in Colombia, particularly one that has also an independent union called La Fragancia. For people in this country to understand just your daily work, what do you do in the factory? In the plan. Para que entiendan qué haces en un día normal, cómo, qué tipo de trabajo, qué tipo de tareas haces en un día normal. 
Eh, bueno, me, me levanto a las 3 de la mañana, eh, cambio a mis hijos, el bus, me está, eh, el bus me está recogiendo a las 5 y media de la mañana y empiezo mis labores a las 6. I wake up at 3 a.m. every day to give me time to get my children up and dressed. The bus is waiting for me at 5 and I get to work at 6 a.m. En ese lapso de tiempo, en las horas de la mañana debemos cortar las flores, eh, luego que las corte, tenemos que estar sacando unos rendimientos apropiados porque si no los sacamos pues empiezan a molestarnos y a pasarnos informes. Um, in the morning hours we are supposed to cut the roses that will be shipped that day. We are subject to extreme pressure to cut a certain number of roses every hour and if we don't comply with this they start filing rep um, reports with the management about how we're not doing our job well. Luego pasamos a la sala de clasificación donde organizamos las flores, les revisamos si no están enfermas, les revisamos el tamaño de su cabeza, sus tallos y las organizamos en grupos de 25 o de 10 tallos, según el cliente. ¿Cuántos? 25 o 10 